you guys, how's it going? So today I wanna to talk all about these amazing raised garden beds from Gardener Supply. It's something that I wanted to talk to you guys about for a while and I shared them last week in my garden tour. I have a blog on them, but now that it's the end of the growing season, I wanna give a little review and tell you just how fabulous they are. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with them, but I love the industrial farmhouse kind of look, the industrial feel of these planters. And even though my gardens are a little bit more cottage, I wanted to do something a little bit different. And I really love the corrugated metal on these. And as a bonus, they have these self-watering reservoirs that sit at the bottom underneath the soil and water the plants from below. So I've been growing vegetables since we moved here in 1998. Uh, at one time, our garden was at the back left corner of the yard. For the last 15 years, it's been in front of my garden shed, uh, but it's really been falling apart. It's, it's just seen its last days. My husband built it all from cedar and over time, it just started falling apart. So it was time to do something about it. And I wanted to move my cutting garden over there with all those flowers that I grew from seed. So I wanted to move a garden here in the center of the backyard where my kids' play equipment used to be. So after we removed the play equipment, because they don't use it anymore, we grew grass. And of course, now that I want to add a garden, <laughs> we had to remove the grass. So instead of digging it out, I laid down some weed fabric. And after my husband built the uh, corrugated metal part of the raised garden beds, we laid those down on top. And then I added pea gravel around the sides. And then we put the water reservoirs underneath. Now we did make sure that the ground was level beforehand. This is actually the flattest part of my yard. So it was pretty level to begin with. But uh, before putting a garden like this together, you do need to make sure it's level so that the water reservoirs sit evenly on the ground. So after we added the pea gravel and we set up the beds with the water reservoirs, I did a rock border around the outside. We just bought like, you know, landscaping rock from our local nursery. And then I filled the garden beds with some raised garden bed soil and compost and some hummus just to kind of keep it light and get a good mix going. And I gotta tell you, these beds did amazing all season long. I had quite a harvest. I grew everything from tomatoes, peppers, um, lettuce, lots of herbs, and uh, some squash, zucchini, cucumbers. It was just great. It produced abundantly all season long. And I really do attribute it from the water reservoirs watering the plants from beneath. So one of the questions that I get asked often is how easy was this to put together? Now, if you were asking me, I would tell you it was so easy, but I didn't actually, I didn't actually put it together. My husband put it together and he says it's super easy to pretty self-explanatory. Let me show you what he did. So we're gonna connect these two. I'm gonna put a hose from this one to this one and then a cap so water doesn't get out this side and a cap so water doesn't get out that side and fill these two together. All right, check it out. This is what it looks like when it's all done. Here's the spout and this is where you put the water in. So I'm really loving how these produced. I grew tons of tomatoes this year. I mean, this is just the tail end of that season. I grew, as you can see, a lot of peppers. This is actually the most peppers I've ever grown. I had lots of herbs and lettuce, and it was just a really great growing season for my vegetable garden because I used to actually have the vegetable garden over there in that bed and new this year were these self-watering raised beds. So if you are looking for self-watering raised beds, I would definitely take a look at Gardener Supply. 
And that's it, you guys. I hope that answers all of your questions about the Gardener Supply raised garden beds. Uh, if you have any other questions, drop them in the comments below. I'm Stacy from Bricks and Blooms. I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy a beautiful day.